Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Azure Cosmos DB conference. My name is Hugo Barona, and today we are going to talk about uh, building enterprise uh, APIs using Azure Cosmos DB and API management, and also using a no-code uh, approach. Before getting started, uh, let me just quickly introduce myself. So I'm a cloud solutions architect with background in software development. Uh, most of my experience using Microsoft Stack and leveraging open source uh, related technologies. Also, I'm a, an Azure MVP, Microsoft Certified Trainer, and whenever possible, I try to uh, contribute to the community and also deliver some talks about uh, technology and what I learn on my daily basis. So this talk is um, important in way that's the same way it's important for you to understand how to use uh, Azure Cosmos DB. It's also important that you understand how um, you should integrate Azure Cosmos DB and integrate and use it with your environment and solutions, okay? So the session of today is um, I have a scenario of uh, we want to expose an external API uh, to just provide our external users and our apps access to our data that is in this case stored in Azure Cosmos DB, which is our backend. And I have a, a few approach that I want to share with you so you can understand the details of each approach. And then uh, we will move to a demo. I have already uh, pre-created the resource in the answers of time, even the limited time we have for this session. But I just want to share and show you an end-to-end -end solution um, applying the approach that we are going to cover today. Okay, first approach. So we have our Azure Cosmos DB instance and account, and then we have our external users and apps, and then we want to enable them to access our data and um, and start to use uh, our data. Okay, the first approach you could consider is of course using the existing. Uh, SDKs and the REST API for Azure Cosmos DB that is available. But of course, in this approach, you would be um, building a coupled solution and architecture, and also you would require your users and apps to be aware of Azure Cosmos DB and also have uh, knowledge and expertise on how to use Azure Cosmos DB. Okay, And last but not least, of course, you, you would need to ensure that you have security uh, controls in place in order to control what your, those users and apps can do on your uh, Azure Cosmos DB and with your data, okay? Then the second approach, you just decide, okay, I'm going to put some control in place and I'm going to also build some uh, business logic. So in, in this scenario, you pretty much decide to build a custom API, okay? In this scenario, as you can imagine, uh, pretty much you have um, you are doing custom development so you, you, you require to have a development team uh, in order to do these developments and of course these may increase your costs and resource required to implement the custom API and last but not least sometimes it may end up uh, being a time consuming approach uh, to in order to deliver the solution so the third approach which is based on our demo uh, is pretty much by leveraging API management, which is a service available on Azure as well. And the idea is uh, to use API management as an API getaway to abstract your users, the external users and apps from your backend, which is Azure Cosmos DB. And in this case, you it enables you to implement a loosely coupled architecture. Also, you can leverage the enhanced API security by leveraging the existing policies and templates available. It provides you a self-service model, so that means the, your users can use this uh, developer portal to go there, access and try out your public APIs, subscribe to them and start to use them, okay? And last but not least, you have an, uh, an opportunity to use a no-code, low-code approach in order to build your uh, APIs and in this case, accelerate the development of, of your solutions, okay? So given that, we are going to move to our uh, demo 
I'm going to just bring here the Azure portal. As I mentioned to you, in the instance of time, uh, I created in advance the resource that we are going to use today. If you are not familiar with this service, don't worry. Uh, I will be sharing uh, at least a few resources at the end of this uh, session that will enable you to get familiar with uh, this service and learn how to get started creating this service and using this service, okay? So here to quickly share with you, I have an instance of uh, API management service and I have, of course, an, ins an instance of uh, Azure uh, Cosmos DB, an account. And I'm gonna start by showing you the Azure Cosmos DB accounts. Okay, so I created my account and then of course I created uh, the database that has the name data, as you can see here. And then I created a collection movies, okay? Here, the movies pretty much, I just used one of the open data sets available. And in this case, it represents a collection of movies where uh, each document contains, uh, represents a movie and contains uh, a couple of properties, including the title of the movie, the year, the casts, and the genres, and of course, the ID that uniquely identifies each movie, okay? So what we want to do now is we want to leverage this uh, alternative way to build an API to provide and enable our external users and uh, apps to just consume and use our data, in this case, our movies. So I'm going here to the API management service, and I'm going to show you what I have created. Of course, I had to prepare the resource in advance uh, do in the instance of time. So I go here to the APIs option on the left, and I have here my movies API, as you can see here, okay? And uh, if you are not familiar how to create APIs on API management service, don't worry. The resource that I'm gonna share will help you out to get started. Now I created API, it contains two uh, operations, one get movie by ID and one that is the get movies by actor, okay? The idea of these uh, operations is the first to enable the user to get an, um, a movie by the ID of the movie. And the second one it to, is to get all the movies where a given actor participates in those movies, okay? Before we get started with the details, I want to share with you uh, some details about the policies that I'm using. Here on all operations, I configured some policies that will be shared with all the operations we have configured to our API. Okay, so that means every request that goes to our API and to a given operation, we will always execute these um, policies. So what I have here is pretty much a set backend service policy just to set uh, my backend uh, service. In this case, it's our Azure Cosmos DB account. And this is the full URI for the accounts. Then I have here a bunch of, um, of uh, variables and uh, uh, headers that we need to configure in order to use the Azure Cosmos DB REST API. Okay, which will be what we are going to use to query our data in uh, Azure Cosmos DB. So we have here the authorization header that is using the authentication of Azure Active Directory. In order to use this authentication, we need an access token. And this access token we are requesting here using the uh, authentication and using manage identity policy. So that means I had to enable manage identity on the API management and then do a role assignment for role-based access control in the data plane of Azure Cosmos DB. So it gives the uh, permissions to the identity associated to our, um, of our API management to access the data in Azure Cosmos DB, okay? Then I just have as well the, the header for the dates which includes the timestamp of the request and the version of the API, okay? So these are common policies that will be executed for all operations. And then of course, I have my operation to get movie by ID. Again, it contains a rewrite URI 
with the template of the path that we need to use in order to make the, the query using the REST API in Cosmos, and also the partition key that in this case contains the ID of the movie, which is the partition key configured in our Azure Cosmos DB account. Okay. So once you are happy about uh, the configuration of your uh, operation, you can immediately uh, go uh, using the Azure portal, go to the test tab and get started testing uh, your, uh, um, your operation. In this case, I'm going to just pull here on my sides an ID for a movie. And I'm going to use this ID in order to do a quick test here from the portal. So I'm just placing an ID of an existing movie in Azure Cosmos DB. And quickly, you can see I have here the 200 OK. And also, if I scroll down, I have here the response body with the movie that I'm looking for, in this case, Destroyer, OK, from 2018. And in this case, uh, it's, uh, it's a crime thriller and uh, which participates Nicole um, Kidman as well in the movie, OK? Now, uh, another uh, operation that I want to show you is the fact that we have to get movies by actor. So I want to first show you the policies. So if I go back here to the policies, again, there is a rewrite URI to just write the templates of, um, with the pets of uh, the REST API in order to enable us to do a query for documents. And then, of course, I need to configure the required headers, including the content type for application query plus JSON. Also, the document DB is query as true in order to identify uh, these requests as a query. Then last but not least, I have here my query, which uh, you can see it's pretty much a SQL, um, a SQL query that I'm doing a, seek, a select star to get all the movies where the uh, cast array contains um, my actor that I'm sending in as parameter in the body of the request. Okay, so once you have your uh, um, your policy again available and uh, configured, and your operation and API available, then you can start to enable your users to just consume your API. In this case, using any HTTP client they want, or even building custom applications. In this case, I'm just using Postman. I have here the, the, the request configured. As you can see here, it has the address of my API, API management instance, and then the path for to use the uh, actor um, operation that I just configured. In the body, I have here the actor, which in this case, it's Morgan Freeman. And another important detail I want to highlight to you is on the headers. Since our APIs, in order to protect our APIs, you need to, uh, you require a subscription in order to use those APIs. So then uh, you can have a subscription subscription key. Then I, I just pull the subscription key of the one of the existing subscriptions. And I have to uh, configure this OCP APIM subscription key header with my subscription key. Once you configure fully uh, your requests as a user of your API, then you just make the requests. And here we go. We have the status 200 OK. And we have the movies of uh, Morgan Freeman, with, where Morgan, which Morgan Freeman participates. We have here Mary from 1985 and up to the Nutcracker and the Four Realms of 2018, OK? Now, quick notes. Um, all of this is using the Azure Cosmos DB REST API. And if you are not familiar uh, or you are, you are not sure how to do it, you can always refer to the documentation available for the Azure Cosmos DB REST API reference. And then on the left, you have uh, documentation for the different operations. In, the, in this case, we are using, we are doing operations for documents. And the two operations that we use is based on the get the documents, where you can see here the request URI and also the headers that you can use to do the requests, OK? Including, as you can see here, the partition key that's the header that we are using 
to use the movie ID and enable us to get uh, the movie that we are looking for. And the other one, the other operation is the query documents that enables us again to do a request using DZRI and then use again the headers that I just explained to you, including the enable uh, cross partition and including the document DBs query in order to specify that that's our request is a query. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. It's quite quick, but it's only to just give you some insights on how you can get started using Azure Cosmos DB together with your environments and solutions. Follow us the, uh, the resource that enables you to get familiar with this service if you are not to, and follow us at the bottom uh, the, the link to my blog post, uh, sorry, to the, my personal blog, where you can find all the contacts to reach out to me if you have any questions or you have any comments related to this session. Thank you very much and enjoy the conference.